Welcome to the newest episode of Have You Seen? Today we're talking about two films, which is Adam's Family and Adam's Family Values. Now, have you seen Adam's Family or Adam's Family Values? It's an Adam's. I watched The Adam's Family. Okay. And then I couldn't wait for the next day to watch The Adam's Family Values. <laughs> Okay, so when did you first see The Adam Family? All the way through, probably like the first time I saw it with you. Oh, okay. I did never really watch many films before we met. Well, and now you're doing this. <laughs> Reviewing films of things you haven't seen, because the question is, have you seen? So... When did you first see... Adam's Family and Adam's Family Values. Probably in the 90s when they first came out. Yeah. Don't think I saw them at the cinema. Maybe I saw Adam's Family Values at the cinema. But that was so long ago. I mean, I can't remember last week. <laughs> so what is your favourite scene in Adam's Family Values? Uh, when she almost lets the girl drown. Oh, okay. So who's she? What are you talking about? So when Wednesday is doing the life saving, and she goes, "I'll be the," the other girl goes, "I'll be the victim." I'll be the victim. All your life. Oh. Sounds like something I'd like to say to someone. <laughs> Not specifically. That yeah. sounds like I had someone in mind. <laughs> What's your favourite? Do you have a favourite scene from the first one? The fir My first one probably would be... I like the dance. The, the mamushka. Yeah. Mamushka! Mamushka! He comes with mamushka! That's a good scene, but oh. you know, in the version that we're getting when it arrives, there's more mamushka because it was cut out. Going, people get bored apparently when they test screened it originally. Apparently, it's a lot longer, and everyone dances, it's not just Gomez and Festa. Mm. My name's Festa. It means to write. That doesn't really make sense because I feel people are less patient now than they used to be. What? So, like, adding more. Any our next thing. Oh, Who's your favourite character? Wednesday. <gasps> Isn't she pretty? She's scaring me! Wednesday, why? Because she has so many comebacks. What is it? What is, why is she called Wednesday? Wednesday's child is full of woe. Ah, okay. So her actual name is Wednesday Friday Adams. I can't remember the one for Friday. Um, but why Friday? Monday? Another day of the week. Wednesday's child is full of woe. Thursday's child has far to go. I don't, can't remember the rest. Okay. I'm sure someone else can. Okay, my favourite character is Thing. <laughs> it's a hand that this does things. It's like having a pet dog, I guess, but smarter than a dog. Um, I do enjoy Fester. No hand puppets. But that's after he's Fester, because obviously he's Gordon. Down, Gordon. Mother! Gordon! Gordon! Oh. <laughs> and Fester, because he's lost his memory and all that jazz, and then gets struck by lightning and gets his memory back. And then the second one, when he's with, what's her name? Debbie. 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 See, Debbie was played by Joan Cusack, sister of John Cusack. Both child actors. Yeah. Actors. Yeah. They were both in the John Hughes film. I think it was Pre and Pink. Do you know that one? I know it. I can't remember what happened. I don't know. She, she has a thing. She but I think she was very good playing a psychopath. Yeah. She got very angry. I'm saying I want you dead and I want your money. A lot but of he's film. better in the second one. Chris Floyd? Yeah. But maybe that's because he has more chance to speak. I feel like in the second one, they all have more of a chance to speak. Yes, Lurch says a lot. Yes. 
No, like more chance to interact with. Yeah. Other outside characters. Not, not just the family. So they go. Obviously, the kids go to the camp. Yeah. And they can speak with other people. And then there was Wednesday's boyfriend. We're all very sorry, Debbie. We wish you only the best. Would you go to my boyfriend or disappointed that she had a crush on or a boy had a crush on her? And as soon as we saw him, we knew him. We did know him. Where did we know him from? Ten things I hate about you. I was going to say the Santa Claus. Oh, okay. I was going to say the ER episode mm. where he is a psychopath and kills a major character. Spoilers if you haven't watched ER. Have you seen ER? No, I have not. But ER was made by Michael Crichton. Never seen it. He made Jurassic Never Park. Seen a single episode. You liked Jurassic Park. Look at the posters. Jurassic Park's my favourite. Yes, so he made ER as well. Anyhow, back to the Adams family. Adams Family One. Would you recommend it to small people or teenagers or adults? Anyone. I think what? anyone can watch it. Okay, that's good. Because even though I would say that it's not the sort of like adult stuff, it's the sort of adult stuff that goes over young children's heads. Oh yeah, so you've got like all these jokes which kids don't understand yeah. and the adults are laughing, even though it is more or less a kid's film. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the second one, would you recommend that over the first one? Yes. Or would you say they need to see the first one? To see the second one? Kind of, but not really. Okay. Because it's not as if they really mention anything. They say that Fest has been away. Yeah. But they don't... Don't go into it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. So they could be two standalone films. Yeah. Yeah, they could be. Um... Did you know Cher was meant to, or tried to get the role of Morticia, but she lost out to the witch's lady, Angelica Houston? Houston? There wasn't enough singing in the role. Is, is that why? Probably. Probably, but no, Cher's like she one of She sings in most of her films. She didn't I've sing in Mask. I've only really seen her in. She didn't sing in Mask I can't remember what I've seen her in, apart from Burlesque, which is a, a musical. <laughs> Ah, oh, she would no. She was in that Mamma Mia film. Singing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cher likes to sing. That's what we've learned. Um, <laughs> I. Why do you have to sing every time we do this? <laughs> That's quite a good impression. Uh, I would recommend both films, but I would do it in order, so you see what's happened. You know what's, you know. You know, Fester's been away, you know, he comes back. Mm. And then how they... Ah, oh, this, this scene, my favourite scene would be the theatre. <laughs> so much blood, fake blood, obviously. I'm like chopping their arms off and everyone in the crowd gets covered in blood. I like the fact that they don't get covered in blood. Oh yeah, they're further back. Like... <laughs> The judge who lives across the road is covered in blood and all that. Yeah. I thought that was good. That was a good scene. Kids will love that. Young, like 12 year olds just find that hilarious. Yeah. It's very funny. We haven't seen any of the special features because the disc hasn't arrived and we might review that actual disc and the quality, but from everything we've been told, the 4K is incredible. So we'll let you know. We'll let you know by leaving a tweet. So don't forget to follow us on Twitter and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, obviously. Uh, okay, out of 10, what would you give the Adams Family one? Seven. Seven out of 10. And Adams Family values? Eight. Okay, I would give Adams Family one, seven and a half developing characters and Adam's family values I would give yeah about like I think it is better it's not often that you get sequels that are better than the originals mm. and I think this one is so can you name me any other sequels which are better than the original no. Terminator 2 
Ah, oh, so nice too. The Godfather Part Two. I've never seen any Godfathers. <laughs> okay. Shall we review the Godfathers? Because then I can ask, have you seen The Godfather? And you can say yes. Yes. And then be like, it's a really long film. Anyhow, back to the Adams family. Of course. Wake the dead. Wake the dead. Wake the dead. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share this with all your friends and family so that they know that they should watch The Adams Family and The Adams Family Values. Because it's October. It is October. It's October the 3rd, actually. We should watch Mean Girls. What day is it? It's October the 3rd, isn't it? I know all the words, but I did it for a drama exam. I did parts of Mean Girls for a drama exam, so I've memorized most of the film. Okay, we'll review Mean Girls soon. So don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you soon. Thank you for coming to her TED Talk. Goodbye forever. Not forever. No. Goodbye for now.